Hey guys, it's Bro Uwak, and the Overwatch 2 April Fool's Google Eye event is back in the game with a brand new twist. How would you like it if they gave Winston a bubble that moved with him? Or, or, what if they'd allow Brigida to swing like Spider-Man? Or, better yet, what if they just gave Zenyatta the ability to fly? Every single hero got a change in the brand new <laughs> temporary new balance patch final underscore final 23 game mode in the arcade. And let me tell you, all of these changes are so goofy. So let me know what your favorite change is in this update. So let's look at some of the Tay changes. First and foremost, Doofist, his seismic slam can now be empowered by his power block. His damage got increased from 50 to 75, so a 25 increase. And <laughs> enemies hit by the shockwave are now launched into the air. For D.Va, if you deflect a projectile, it now deals 30 damage to an enemy within an area for one second, and it also grants 5% to her ult charge if you get a killing blow. For Junk Queen, after you use your commanding shout ability, it applies a bleed effect to all the enemies within the AoE of the commanding shout. For Orisa, while you're jumping in the air and using javelin spin, it pulls Orisa forward in her facing direction like a play. <laughs> and if you fall while using your fortify ability, it increases the falling speed and it deals damage in an area while Orisa lands onto the ground, sort of like a hope smash. <laughs> Whenever you pick Ramachar, he's now always just gonna be in nemesis form. He's always gonna have his punchy punch ability but that also means that his Void Barrier moved to ability 1, and just to balance his Punchy Punch a little bit more, his block has a 1 second cooldown now. Alright, Heart is now free to fly! <laughs> All you gotta do is hold Jump while charging, and you go up, or hold Crouch to go down with Reinhardt, and your steering got increased by 33%. Rodogs is actually very broken, where his range on his hook got increased by 50%. For Sigma's Rock ability, if you hit an enemy, it now knocks them back and the enemy experiences low gravity for four seconds, bringing back Horizon Lunar Colony on Earth. And it also has an eight second cooldown instead of 10 seconds. Win <laughs> Winston's patch notes literally just say Winston, but his ability grants him the ability to have a bubble with him wherever he moves, which is so funny. It's like his security blanket. Hammond is quite literally a ping pong ball now, where if you use your grappling claw ability and you slam into the wall, it increases your speed by bouncing you off of it and the minefields if you use the ultimate it slowly creeps to an enemy which is so terrifying and the final tank change or lack thereof is Zarya and at least in the patch notes Zarya didn't have any changes listed which is weird because why is she left out of the fun we've reached the DPS changes the first hero is gonna be Ash where her change is actually overpowered where if you fire the dynamite and it explodes the fire can spread to different heroes up to four different different heroes. They made Bastion into a grenade launcher. If you transform into your assault mode and you use your grenade ability, you have half a second cooldown. Cassius is actually a little bit confusing, so it's all applied to his combat rope. So now, instead of having a cooldown, now it's based on regenerating stamina, so basically moving, and you can also dodge all incoming damage when the combat roll is active. That's actually kind of useful. I love that to be in the game. And the ammo reload decrease for from six bullets to now just two bullets. Echo with her tri shot now fires two additional projectiles, so it's a pentagon shot or a pent shot, not a tri shot, and the damage got decreased from seven damage to 12 damage per projectile. Genji mates, I think you got the best change here that you're gonna love if you spam the I need healing voice line. Sometimes it actually heals yourself. <laughs> Hanzo mains, I hate you because your change <laughs> so, ah! so whenever you use the storm arrow, the arrows ricochet towards the sonic arrow. So if you stick somebody, they're, they're, they're gonna magnetize and go towards the sonic arrow. Junkrat's change is actually very useful for him, where you drop grenades whenever you launch yourself with concussion mine. You can now play Tetris with Mei, where it spawns different configurations with Mei walls. Fair, I think, received the most changes here, and it's all related to knockback. So first and foremost, her rocket launcher, it no longer deals self damage to Farah, and it has increased knockback damage, which I think she needs in regular game. Her rocket barrage ultimate, she can now be knocked back herself while it's activated, no longer she just a stone in the sky, and she can also have self knockback whenever the rocket barrage is activated. And the fuel got decreased by 33%, which I think is actually 
kind of silly because that's the most fun part about Farrah. <laughs> Reaper got the lamest change out of all the heroes because movement is no longer locked whenever you use your shadow step ability. But he does sing happy birthday when he ults, so there is that. Sword Churn is now a Street Fighter character where if you power slide into an enemy, it deals 75 additional damage and it also launches them in the air and slams them down and knocks them down for 1.5 seconds. Wherever Soldier 76 goes, his biotic field follows because now it is always attached and activated whenever you're playing Soldier 76. I think Simon got the most complex in terms of usage, but it's all to her translocator where now it deals 120 damage whenever you like actually teleport to your translocator in the area of effect. The projectile speed got increased by 40 and the cooldown got decreased from 10 seconds to 6 seconds. So you can see a lot of Sombras playing baseball. Symmetra sentries can now target enemies whenever they're traveling and the turrets now have 60% damage resistance before they stick to terrain, which I actually think is kind of useful for Symmetra in regular game. Torbjord is now an arsonist because whenever you use your rivet gun or your forge hammer while activating your overload ability, it now lights the enemies on fire and it causes 30 additional damage over time. For a tracer, whenever you use your recall ability, it now pulls enemies to you. And whenever you use your pulse bomb, now instead of there being a one second activation time, there is a two second activation time. So she got a buff and a nerf, which I think is lame. Bad Widowmakers, you're gonna get a nerf here because if you get a critical headshot damage with Widowmaker, it now deals three seconds as poison. And you can also see the enemies through walls whenever the poison is activated. We have now reached the support heroes first with Ana, because if you're a good Widowmaker, you're now gonna be a good Ana, where you can now deal headshot damage with Ana. Batiste is a bouncy ball, so whenever you use your exo boost, you're now able to have more horizontal distance in your jump, but if you hold the jump on after you use your exo boost, you just keep bouncing. Brigida is now Spider-Man, where if you use your whip shot ability, it now takes you to wherever the whip shot goes, and you don't even need to stick it to the walls. So it's literally Spider-Man on the PS2 all over again. Kariko's swift step got increased from 35 meters to 3 for the 300, 350 meters? And the cooldown now scales based on the distance you travel? Oh my lord! Lucio's sound wave now deflects projectiles, and the cooldown decrease from four seconds to three seconds. DPS Mercies, you can now rejoice because her blaster, whether you're using your ultimate or not, the ammo capacity got increased from 25 bullets to 125 bullets bullets and the projectile speed increase from 50 to 125. <laughs> More remains whenever you use your biotic orb you can now stop or start them on command. All you gotta do is just activate the ability input and they'll just stop whenever you command them to. And my favorite change which is probably my favorite one out of all of them, Zenyatta can now fly. So if you use your kick ability, it now launches Zenyatta in the direction that you're kicking. And as always, all the heroes and even some of the abilities all got googly eyes. But let me know what you think about all of these changes because they're just... <laughs> This is awesome, man. I love this game mode. This is my favorite game mode in years. But I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching more Overwatch 2 videos to come. And bye.